So, do you have a band saw in your kitchen? So, for the first few years of the 3D printing, uh, private personal 3D printing industry, somewhere between 2012 and 2016, aboutish, maybe 2008, there was a lot of hype around the idea of the personal 3D printer that would be the equivalent of the personal computer. It would be a device that would be able to make its way into your home and become a part of every human's life. Rather than ordering something online or having to go to the store, you instead order something and it would be grown in the printer inside your home. This is a ridiculous idea. A 3D printer, while simple in the context, in many contexts, as far as machinery goes, is very complex as far as home products go. The most complex product in your home is probably your dishwasher, if you even have one. Many people still use their sink and spray. But a dishwasher has one motor that spins in the bottom and a water pump, and not even really the water pump. <laughs> but that is two parts, whereas a 3D printer has at least four independent motors and mechanisms that all have to work, work with high temperature, with materials that degrade, and with parts that wear out, stretch, and break. There is no appliance in any part of your house that the normal consumer can actually operate on. Name the last time you worked on your microwave. Name the last time you fixed your dishwasher. To be fair, as I say that, I understand this audience is mainly 3D printing, but in the wider world of normal consumers, the home 3D printer was never going to be an option. It is fundamentally unable to do it because it is fundamentally too complex to be an appliance, but it is a tool. So personal 3D printing has taken off as a hobby, as a tool, as something to be added to the wood shop. This is why we use the analogy, having a 3D printer in the home is like having a bandsaw in your kitchen. You can do it, and there are people who do it, but that doesn't mean that it's appliance that everyone would use. It's not a personal computer. It is not a smartphone. It's not a microwave. It's not a toaster, and it never will be. Personal home 3D printing as an appliance is an idea that will never be achieved because it is too complex and too difficult to make a machine that can actually perform reliably over time and be disposable. And 3D printers are nowhere close to that. And if they're low cost, they wear out too quickly and don't make good parts. And if they're high cost, they are no longer an appliance that anybody needs because a 3D printer in the home is competing with Amazon one to two day shipping where it's way faster, way more convenient, and you do not have a device that will break down or need serviced or has a high upfront cost and today has a huge amount of expertise required to operate it. The expertise part can be eliminated, but the physics of the machine will never work to make it a reliable home device. This is why it's so important to create factories and farms within metropolitan areas that can subsidize and assist in the fulfillment of products, but allow expertise and scale to take over where home 3D printing just would never be able to do it. So that fundamental idea of 3D printing in every home was just silly right from the start. Please comment down below if there's other parts of the 3D printing industry that you'd like us to talk about. And if you like this video, give it a like and please subscribe. Have a great day, everybody.